In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Radiant Coin and how to set up the wallet for Radiant Coin mining. To start mining, we need to set up a wallet, so we'll run through that and then show you how to mine from there. Now, there are a bunch of different ways you can get a Radiant wallet. For example, you can get an exchange wallet, so any exchange that trades the coin will give you a wallet address. When we head over to CoinMarketCap, we can see the exchanges that list this coin. So you can use these exchanges to get an address if you want, but today we're going to be getting a wallet address from the native Radiant wallet website. To download this, you just want to go to the Radiant Crypto homepage. This is at radiantblockchain.org. Once here, you have to scroll down to the bottom of the page and then click on the wallet tab by here, and it should take you to a GitHub page. This page displays the files, but to download the wallet, you have to click on the release button on the right side by here. As you can see here, we can download whatever operating system you are running. The Windows wallet is the third one down, which is ending in setup.exe. Once downloaded, you have to unzip the folder and then you open the exe file. Run through the download and it should open a setup page where you have to encrypt the wallet. Firstly, it'll give you a seed phrase. You have to memorize this and type it back in. Then you set a password for the wallet. The password will be used every time you open up the wallet from then on. Now, once this is done, you'll open the wallet and it should look like this. It's a pretty basic wallet, but it works like most other crypto wallets. Here you have a send tab where you can send out Radiant Coin. Then you have a receive tab. This is where you get your wallet address from. However, within this wallet, there is an address tab by here, which displays a bunch of addresses for your wallet. These are all addresses that are linked to your wallet, so you can use any of these to receive crypto, or you can put into your mining file later. So when we get to mining, you can mine to any of these addresses and it will be sent to this wallet. So that's how you set up and use the wallet. Next, we need to set up the mining file. First thing we need to do when mining is to pick a pool to mine to. Now, if you go on miningpoolstats.com and on the left side type in Radiant, you'll see that the Radiant coin will show up. Here, if you click on it, it will list the pools available. Now, I want to make sure that this coin doesn't have a 51% attack, so remember to mine to a smaller pool. As you can see here, Wooly Pooly has a majority of the hash rate and this poses a risk for an attack. So today I'm going to be using a pool below it called Viper.net. Also, Wooly Pooly has a minimum payout of 1,000 coins, yet the other pools have a minimum payout of 100 coins, so make sure to use these smaller pools to prevent the attacks on the network. Now, when we click on this pool, we can see here there is two options, the solo and the pool mining. The setup is the same for both of them, so you can choose whichever one you want, either solo mining to try your luck or pool mining together. So we're going to click on the pool option. Now, the next step is to enter your wallet address. So you open up your wallet that we made earlier and click on the receiving tab. Then copy this address here and paste it back into the box on the mining pool page. Then we just have to click next step. Now you wanna select your region that you are closest to. I'm closest to Europe. So we click that and then we click next step. Next is the operating system. We are going to choose Windows here, but you can use Hive OS if you're running that. Then down here, you can name your worker if you wanna keep track of your rigs. Once that's done, it will generate a command line text below for two different miners. You can use either of these, but because BZ Miner is both AMD and Nvidia, we're going to be downloading BZ Miner. To download it, you can just click this little download button on the side here, and it'll take you to the GitHub for the miner. Now you have to scroll down and pick your operating system which you are using. Once downloaded, you'll need to unzip the file, and it should give you a bunch of pre-made files for different coins. We are looking for the one named Radiant, as we can see here at the bottom. From here, we can right click and hit edit to open up the command line. Next, we go back to the Viper pool and copy this text here. Then we go back into the minor file we just opened and paste it over this text like so. Now this text also has some overclock settings at the end, and unless you want them, I recommend you delete this part of the text. However, if you do wanna use this part of the text, then you can get recommended overclock settings from the mining pool. If we click back onto the mining pool page, we can click next and it will list some overclock settings for some cards you might have. Now you can just type these in instead of the overclocks that you see in the minor file. But if you don't wanna use overclocks, just delete this part of the text. Now all we have to do is save the minor file and then double click the mining file and it should start mining. It will display your GPUs and you'll know if it's worked as your mining will confirm a share on the network as we can see here. Now, if you're having any problems, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to help you guys out with all the steps in the process. Once you've been mining for a while, you can check on your progress on the mining pool website. 
All you have to do is take your wallet address and paste it into the search bar at the top of the page. Then your wallet should show up and you can click it there and it will display all the information on your mining. We have your workers here, your unpaid balance and immature balance. This would be the balance that hasn't been paid out to your wallets yet. Then it shows estimated earnings per day, week and month. Below this, we can see the hash rate of our rig and the hash rate chart to track how much our rig is fluctuating between the hours and days. Now, as it says at the top here, the payout threshold is only 100 radiant coin. Now, after doing some calculations, if you had one giga hash of power, it would take around nine to 10 hours to mine 100 coins. So you can use this and scale it up to how much hash rate you have on your rigs. Remember, this could change as the difficulty increases, so it's only at time of recording that this is 9 to 10 hours. Now, when we look at the difficulty chart of the coin, we can see it's had a rise of around 10x since the beginning of the coin. Now, because it's such a new coin, it also has so much room to grow in price, and we'll definitely see this difficulty chart increase as time goes on. Now, in terms of mining, when we go back to the website, we can see that this coin has a total supply of 20 billion coins and an emission schedule of 50,000 blocks every two years. The mining algorithm used is SHA-512, which allows for GPU, FPGA, and ASICs on the network. Also, this algorithm is more efficient than the SHA-256 for Bitcoin. The block times are every five minutes, and they have a block size of 265 megabytes. This allows for around 1,000 transactions per second on the network. Lastly, it's a layer one blockchain and is divisible to eight decimal places. Like Bitcoin into Satoshis, you can have up to eight decimal places. Overall, we're only in the early days of this coin and I can't wait to see how it develops into the future. Now, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.